I'm Rick Golson, and I'm a professor here at Orange Coast College in the theater department. And I supervise the Repertory Theater Company, which is a student-run production company in the department. Two other teachers, uh, one was my brother, Alex Golson, and the other one was a teacher named Bill Perkis. Uh, wanted to have a student production company within the department, and I believe in the mid 80s, they uh, formed the rep. <laughs> There's a whole process in uh, producing a play. There's the auditions, then the rehearsals, then the production meetings with the designers, uh, the costume set and lighting designer, and sometimes the sound designer. Also part of the process is I have to bring in a musician that plays the piano because it's melodrama, which means music drama actually, and uh, who p accompanies uh, the actors when they're on stage and plays old timey you know, tunes. And, uh, and uh, so we have to incorporate that person too, and then we go into dress rehearsals and then we start performing. Um, so it's a whole elaborate process. I mean, just putting it in that nutshell is kind of doesn't speak to all the work that goes into it. David Scalione, he's God, he's our Renaissance man. He can do everything. He is a fantastic designer. Uh, he designs the sets for our shows. He also um, teaches a makeup class because he's an outstanding makeup artist and a great teacher. Uh, he's been teaching that for years and several of his students have gone on to uh, successful makeup careers in film and television and other places too. We learn all like different types of like art, like inner face. You, you can learn a lot of things like how to do like, um, like when you <laughs> when you get like like I don't know like if you do like a scene where there is a fight and you can do like the blood and all that or like Halloween and like all this stuff it's pretty cool I actually have a lot of fun here I'd love to do all that and he also is a great writer so he's written several plays that we've produced here uh, and he, he writes the Christmas show every year Rep has been part of the school. It's one of the most wonderful things about the school. Uh, people get a chance here to direct, they get to produce, they get to write, and it's really shown in the people who come out of here. I mean, I get students who come back after years of doing things out professionally and said the best experience they got was at Orange Coast College. They get to write, they get to direct. I mean, I know people who have their degree in directing and never get to direct anything, really and they get a direct here. They get to see the stuff they write go up on stage. So I love the experience that kids get here. Yeah, I do. This is the theater practicum class, so um, we're just building the sets for the show. So we just uh, got through building the set for Don Juan, the tricksters who built, um, that was directed by Tom Bruno at OCC. I like the, that we've had people come out of it that actually have started their own theater groups. That's one of my favorite things that people have actually started theaters, professional theaters, from doing the work they do in the rep. Cynthia is, uh, she's wonderful. She's our really talented costume designer. She's one of the best costume designers I've ever worked with. And uh, she uh, co-teaches the rep with me, co-supervises is a better way to put it, the rep with me. And it, it works out very well uh, working with her. And she's so patient and kind and supportive of the students and of me and the other faculty. It's just, she's a joy to have, have here. Cynthia is great. I've known her for a long time. I've known her since she was in high school, but she's a very talented person, very good customer, very good painter, uh, got a great eye. Um, she's very intelligent and she has a lot of knowledge. I mean, she's really great at imparting knowledge to people. I've been doing theater since uh, the 70s, since high school. I was a high school drama geek. 
and I've been lucky enough to make a living at it um, since I was 18, so I've been a very lucky person. Um, and I do a lot of different things, uh, costuming, which is why we're in the costume shop today, painting scenery, uh, build props, and also I have a master's degree, so I teach a full load of classes here on campus. I knew Alex, I knew Rick, the Golsons, the guys who started the rep, and Alex asked me to come sometime back in the 80s to design um, a Shakespeare play for them. And, you know, we sort of worked together a bit and they needed somebody to help in the rep 22 years ago. So I came in as just a part-timer to help out in the rep one semester and they've never gotten rid of me. And so here I am. Well, every show, the first thing the costumer needs to look for when designing costumes for a production is what are the show's needs? Uh, you know, where and when and who are these people that the story is about and what kind of clothing do those people need to wear? So you start with the boring necessities. What, what are the actual outfits that are required? And then you talk to the director and see what their vision for the play is and what the look is going to be. And it's, it's a collaboration between, usually it starts with the script and then it's the director and the costume designer together figuring out how are we going to bring that script to life in terms of clothing to tell the story. It's all in service to telling a story. Part of the rep, we do a Christmas production every year. We call it the old-fashioned Christmas melodrama and ice cream social. It's pretty silly, but it's a lot of fun. It's for, geared for families. And in it, we, part of it, we do a melodrama. But we also, uh, you know, we sing Christmas carols. Uh, we give out free ice cream in intermission. We have a children's joke contest where we invite children from the audience to tell a joke. And it's it's a tradition now. We've been doing it every year. I want everybody to take 30 flyers, staple them to your body, it's not that hard. and then walk through downtown Huntington Beach. I've written most of the melodramas we've done in the past. Usually for designing a show it takes about, well, about 600 hours. I do too! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The students in the rep is uh, is great because it really is uh, their theater company. They are the ones who are making the plays happen. And we always joke, Rick and I, that in a perfect world, Rick and I would sit upstairs in the office and eat chocolates while they do all the work downstairs, and that never quite happens. But you know, the students have so much enthusiasm and uh, a lot of dedication and work really hard to make the plays happen. Where you leave and go get some ice cream and some candy, some visiswaw, whatever there's out there, and then come back here in 15 minutes and we'll have the children's joke test and we'll sing some songs and uh, maybe uh, uh, learn a thing or two about science. I don't know. We're strong believers in learning by doing here in our department uh, with all aspects. And the original vision of the rep was that would be a chance for students to produce uh, and direct and act in and design and tech the productions that they were interested in. Uh, and so it, it formed from that philosophy and I think it's been a pretty successful philosophy over the years. And it's, it's their, their plays, their productions, they're the ones who are going to be out there on the stage and you know we, we, we just guide them and it's, it's great to do that, to get the students to to make it happen and it's their vision for what they want the play to be. I, I love my students. I love the fact that they're, they want to be here and some, so many of them have gone on and done stuff and encourage other people to come here so that shows to me that they actually enjoy the, being here. Seeing everybody working together and uh, having fun and enjoying it and then when we've done all this hard work seeing it all come together and being successful you know, everybody can be proud of it.